Happy New Year, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, whatever holiday you celebrate, I hope you had a wonderful time with your family. Through the holidays, hope you had some time off to, you know, enjoy some food, maybe some beverages, and, uh, you know, just, just enjoy the family. So, hope you got all those things done. 2023, New Year, we're going to go over the game plan, and, you know, it's not changing a heck of a lot. Going to be doing a lot of the same things that I've done before, so I am going to be buying on Com C and selling to eBay. And I'm also going to be doing a lot of grading, which I've been doing for some time. Even with the PSA shutdowns, I sort of made it work. But we won't get into that a heck of a lot. The situation has changed. First of all, the hockey market's down. But PSA grading costs are also down. So it creates, you know, some slightly different dynamics. This year, it's more about transparency. So I want to show you guys what the numbers look like. I know when I watch videos like this, it's like, okay, I, I sold that card or, or the guy sold that card and you know, you want to know how much for. Some channels show share that information, other channels don't, but I'm going to be totally transparent with it this year. And so this is the spreadsheet that I made and we'll take a look at some of my past grading spreadsheets. So this is specifically for grading or mainly for grading as we'll talk about in a minute. But this is my first sub that I got back and I'm going to include it in this year because I'm going to be selling all these cards this year. Uh, so I got this back December 20th and the first thing I have, you can see I have the card, uh, the date that I got the return, the grade. Grading cost, total cost, and then I got the sold price there and I'll be able to look at ROI. And I also definitely like to track the channel that I sold it at and then the date sold. So we wanna know what's turning over quicker, what's you know taking a little bit more time. And then down here, I'm gonna have, a, have some totals for each individual sub so that I can look at those individually. And then up at the top here, we have our totals. So eventually, as I get more subs in here, we're going to have total expenses, total sales, total profit, and then total ROI on the year. And this year, we're looking at a profit goal of $50,000. Now, this is a little bit arbitrary. I, I don't know how realistic that is. I know what my sales were on eBay. I know roughly what I sold off of eBay. But yeah, th this number may be revised. I do want to make it somewhat realistic. And so that may change. I, I would like to have a number that I know is achievable and that I can really work towards. So what are we going to be grading? We're going to be focusing on mainly young guns. We'll get some future watch autos in there. Definitely going to look at some OPG platinum, but I'm also known to grade some stuff that's a little bit more obscure so if we take a look right here at this sub you know we start off with a couple young guns uh alex newhook bouchard perfetti and then we got uh troy terry green uh fluorescence this is numbered out of 15 so we got a nine on that which is a good grade for that card but we're not going to get into the card specifically right now kale mccarr parkers parkies these all got nines um, so, you know, I, what I'm really just trying to show is that there's some different cards that I tend to fit in there. Connor McDavid, this is the famous canvas card with Connor McDavid and Sidney Crosby. Some Kale McCarr, City Selly Reds, which is the short print variety, Dylan Cousins, regular young gun, some Nick Robertson tributes, I got 110, but anyways, gonna have stuff like that. Oh, he, here's some nice cards, some, uh, Leon Dreisaitl, oh, these are rookie white ice i got two of those when i went to on a trip to edmonton so if i can see the stuff in hand obviously it's easier to determine whether that card is going to be gradable or not but again it's really just about this transparency and showing the numbers because i think it's what people want to see i don't really have a reason to be shy about it i'm not bragging i'm nothing like that i i do this to hopefully bring you value and show you what the numbers look like you have to do some work before and these are all the things that i want to get into this year is showing you you know how i pick the cards out what cards are better for grading because it's something that i talk about in the channel but i don't really dive into too much so we'll take a look at all these things individually and hopefully keep the videos relatively short i know i get long sometimes and i don't want to do it in this video either you know i'll try and talk about each aspect of what i do how i do it how i do it you know and then hopefully again you get some value from that you can take it or leave it or just watch for fun because you know that's that's sort of what content should be. Here's another aspect that I don't do too much of, but I do want to do a little bit of it this year, is if we scroll to the top, 
I wanted to do just some fl uh, flipping of singles. So I went to the hobby shop and they had a sale and I picked up these two cards. So I have an Alexander Ovechkin Social Signatures and an Alexander Ovechkin UD Ice Glacial Graphs Auto out of five. Really great looking card and you can't see what I paid here. Um, I'll, I'll leave that covered, but if you're interested in the cards, definitely hit me up. So I'm going to do a little bit of this and we'll put that in there. But I'll show you a couple from last year really quickly of what my PSA sub breakdowns have been and sort of how the math has worked out. So I got this sub back sometime a long time ago. As you can see, the grading and the shipping cost was $70 per card. Uh, sent a whole pile of young guns. On the far right here, we can take a really quick look though. So my total grading cost was $3,800. Or sorry, the total card cost was $38.80. The grading cost was $21.50. My total expenses were $6,000. And then I had an estimated sales that I'd estimated at the time of about $8,900 on that uh, return for an estimated total profit of $3,000 and an ROI of 48%. And so here we have the total cost, and this is of just the cards sold, which is why this number is different from the two up here. So we had a cost of $4,251.50, and we had a total sales of just over $10,000 for 135%. So that was the first sub. Um, here is the next one that I did. Take a quick glance, you know, what did I have in here? Notice how I took notes to here of the cards. I, I don't do that so much anymore, but it is very good practice if you're new to this to try and guess before what you think, how you think those cards are gonna come out. Anyways, uh, mainly young guns here, so nothing too exciting. And once again, we can take a look at my forecasted ROI was, this looks like a total return estimated of 2,109. And then my real ROI is up until this point, $3,421 with some cards left to sell or still, or some cards left in the inventory, I should, suppose I should say. So that's a second sub. We'll take a look at the next one. Look at this, Destined for Glory, Pulsars, Flare Showcase. So a whole bunch of fun stuff in here. Anyways, I got this back in September 28th. My total cost was, or the cost of the cards was 1,934. Grading was 2,700 for a total cost of $4,671.91. And I sold $6,248. So, so far I have an ROI of 34% on this. But what you'll notice in this one is I have a whole bunch of really nice cards left. I have Cindy Crosby, two, mos two mosaic, uh, best in the world, PSA 10s. Got a Troy Terry there. A bunch of good stuff like this VIP Lights Pedersen. That's all probably only a couple hundred bucks. Um, Vili Heinle, this VIP Black Matthews, probably a few hundred dollars card. This is a big card here, the Austin Matthews Pulsar. Hard to say exactly what the value is, almost had a deal at uh, $1,100 and I declined it at the time and we'll see if that works out good or bad, but regardless, I think that's about the price of it. Uh, Tim Stutzla, Blue Fluorescence, what else? We got a whole bunch of stuff in here. This is a PC card, Sidney Crosby. Got an Oliver Wallstrom 10, got a Jacob Chikrin 9. Hopefully he gets traded, we can move off that. Some Sidney Crosby canvases. This is Sidney Crosby uh, Cracked Ice. This is a Logo Crest die cut, really nice card. I'm just gonna keep that for the PC, that won't be going anywhere. Some Sebastian Ajo rookies, Mitch Marner Pulsars. These are great cards, probably about $600 on each of these, but I think I'm gonna keep one of them. So anyways, the point being is I have a whole bunch of money tied up uh, in, these cards here but you can see we're already ahead of of where we were and already turning a profit on that now this one we haven't turned a profit so we got this back november 29th and you can have a look at the cards in here some jake ottinger tributes i got all tens on these i thought these were super sus so i was really happy to get those but anyways the total cost was $1,988, so I combined everything in that number, and then the total sold. So far, I have $1,700, so I'm at a small loss on this one, and I need to make uh, need to make 300 bucks. but as you can see, I still have a whole bunch of cards left in this order to sell still. 
The next one, which is my December 20th, is just off. Obviously, I got a December 20th. Haven't done a heck of a lot with it, but got all this stuff that I'm going to have to move off of. We're going to look at doing auctions. So one of the things that I'm going to do too, because it's really interesting, auctions aren't doing well right now, but I'm going to have to auction some of this stuff to keep the wheels turning, right? Just, I'm not so concerned about making max dollars i just got to get that money back so that i can put it into the next one so that's what we're doing here we will see again i got buy it now auction social or if i'm keeping it for pc i will mark all of that uh just so that i know what is going where and i think uh important to track so that's the plan for this year guys we're going to be working a lot off of this sheet and also going through the whole process, so I'll break that out into different videos, letting you know what cards I'm picking, why I'm buying them, and, and we'll definitely talk about that more. I'm still going to do the market mover stuff and all the, the market stuff that I enjoy doing. That'll still be in there, but we're going to follow along with this and sort of see how the sales are going and the, you know, grade to flips are going, along with I need a better spreadsheet, but the Com C to eBay flips. And if you guys are into Discord, definitely hit me up and I'll send you the link. We got a lot of great guys in there who bounce ideas off each other, just talk cards and super fun group of guys. Shout out to the guys in the community. You know, the community is nothing without you guys. I appreciate you. We should all appreciate each other. Guys, hit that like button. I'm at about 900 subscribers or so-ish trying to get to that 1,000. But hit that like button, leave a comment below, let me know what your plan is for this year. Hit that subscribe button, I appreciate it. We'll check you.